Natalia! Your friends are here, Princess. Why? Why did you join the Six God Generals? What good will it do to know? Answer me! Bardock! My wife, Sylvia, loved to watch the sunset from here. One day, I had finished escorting a caravan across the desert and was coming home. When I got home, neither Sylvia nor our newborn child were there. I finally knew what people meant when they said they had a bad feeling. The setting sun was shining in through the windows, blood red. I searched all over the city, but I couldn't find Sylvia. What happened to her? Several days later, she was found floating in this harbor. Sylvia was hysterical when her newborn child was taken from her. She killed herself. No. Sylvia's body was weak. But the score said we would have a child. No, that we must have a child. When I learned why, I threw away my life in Batacle. I drifted between countries. Eventually, Commandant Grants found me and took me in. Van said to me, the score is the planet's memory. Every memory until the end of the world, and everything moves according to that memory. The score is merely a small portion of it, translated into human words. So Sylvia's horrible death was predetermined. I hated the score, the planet's memory. That is a horrible story, but the score isn't absolute. Isn't it just one possible choice of futures? But if you always end at the same place, no matter what path you take, then free will means nothing. The end is the same. Even without readings of the score, this planet will keep its own memory and follow it. Van's vision of destroying the score is to destroy Lorelei, the planet's memory itself. He will earn the right for all living things to build their own future. I believe in that ideal and have chosen to join him. Remember this, your methods are too weak. Wait, you're my... Princess Natalia, my beloved daughter is no more. She was taken from me 18 years ago. If what he said is true, then as long as the planet's memory exists, the future we choose will always arrive at a single conclusion. Is that why Van is trying to erase the originals? To entrust the future to a new humanity of replicas beyond the planet's memory? Even if that's true, even if that's true, the originals still die, right? The Commandant's plan won't save the people of this world. Now, now, calm down. The most distraught person here is no doubt Natalia. Natalia, let's go back to the castle for now. His Majesty is worried about you. Father. Natalia. I was so worried about you. Father, I... I knew that was painful for you. But you don't have to suffer anymore. You need not stand in the front lines against the new order of Lorelei any longer. Father, why? Your journey was as an emissary to arrange a summit on the role of the score. You fulfilled your duty. Why must you fight your own flesh and blood? Precisely because we share that blood. Some things must be overcome. Natalia! No, I don't know. You may be right, Father. Perhaps I shouldn't fight. But the others also know Largo is my father. It won't be any easier for them. I don't know what I should do. 
Natalia, I don't think you need to make a decision right away. It will take time for the new Order of Lorelei to prepare for battle. Yeah, right now Ash should be searching for Master Van. And we have to stop the planet storm. You can use that time to think things over. You can stay here, or you can come with us and think on the way. Whichever you like. I'll go. Let me think there with you. Very well. Be careful, Natalia. <laughs>